Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, I wanted to show you how to install a Metasploit framework in a Windows machine. Now typically, Metasploit, you probably know if you are doing, if you have done any level of pen testing, it's one of the most popular tool uh, for the pen tester, both professional or if you are a major uh, pen tester, you probably learned or at least heard about that tool. Now this tool is automatically installed in many versions of Linux that we typically use for pen testing, like the Kali Linux, like the Parrot. Uh, but you can actually install this Metasploit in uh, any version of operating system. Like you can install it to the Windows, or you can install it in a Mac, or any version of the Linux. Uh, if you go to the site, this tool was uh, acquired by Rapid7, okay, and uh, the world most used paint testing framework, and truly sure. So right now, uh, there are actually multiple different versions, okay, there are a lot of people that they would use the open source, the Metasploit framework. There is a pro version that's also available, and you can get a 30-day uh, free trial on it, if you like, and if you go... Uh, you can also look at uh, some features which are available with the pro version and uh, which which are available only with the with the uh, framework version of it now what we'll do in this video just go ahead and uh, see how to install the metasploit framework in a windows machine if you want to use it okay and the, the, there are lots of uh, guidelines here, here's the install guideline and install. How, how do you want to install it? It's pretty simple. Uh, install, use the installer to save time to set up Metasploit framework from source. And here's a, a Metasploitable download guide. So what do you want to do? Start by downloading one of the installers. Okay, so let's go there. Let's see in this page, if I get the installer pretty quickly. So it's taking, it, taking us to the Rapid7 Metasploit Frameworks GitHub repository and it says document update uh, it is moved to this page so let's go there and here uh, you have further inst install information like installing for metasploit and linux which we are not doing and there we go so this is what we are interested in okay installing metasploit on windows so they made it really really easy so if you click on the latest windows installer it is actually starting a download of the MSI file, okay, Metasploit Framework Latest MSI, and that's about it. If you simply download that MSI package and then adjust your antivirus as needed to ignore that framework, and then that's it. The MSF console command and all related tools will be added to the system path, okay. So when you, when you install, it will automatically be updated. And... Uh, uh, if you if you think it's not added properly, you can always go to the environment variable and uh, fix it. So it looks like it's 250, 260, about 270 MB, and it's download complete as we were talking about it. So just click on this. So let's see what happens. So this uh, nice Metasploit code framework installs and wizard showed up. Looks like I'm installing 6.2.23. That's the latest as of the time of the video. Okay, that's October 14th, uh, 2022. I'll just go through and I'll accept the default installation uh, setups that I have. And allow this app. Yes, that's the UAC for Windows. And installation is here thread found and all of that stuff so we may have to uh, configure the windows security so what i'll do i'll go to firewall and probably one of those if you get stuck you need to go you need to go come over here and you turn it off and there's a the real-time protection that we have to that we have to disable let's see uh, Windows uh, Defender okay 
and this one also i don't see advanced sitting i don't see the sitting for the no let me just uh, take a look at where to find the setting that we introduced. all right we, i think we may have to go to windows security so let's try um security or windows security okay so this one uh got a whole bunch of stuff like the firewall looks like off uh, device security and let's make sure that these that we have these are also turned off just gonna go through this current status manage setting okay i'm gonna turn all of them off okay so real time production is off this is off uh, which is a cloud deliver automatic sample submission is off temper prevention is off so with that setting let's try to do the now it says everything is done okay so again uh, you may have to make sure that your virus your antivirus they might think that your meta spot is a really bad thing for you you need to disable and here we have a little guideline and based on the version of the windows you're using uh, to turning off sometimes it's a little bit crazy but uh, go to your firewall turn off your firewall and then go to windows security and turn off uh, the windows security features okay and that should uh, get you everything that you need okay, let's see uh, at this time if i open up a command prompt and try msf console uh it's not it's not available yet so let's see what if there's any step that we need to do from here uh it says the framework is added double click and enjoy msf console command already tools will be added so let's just actually look at the environment of variable real quick make sure the installation actually added that path uh, and i don't see this and uh, let's look at the system path as well and no i don't see this so what i'll do since we had so much trouble, I'm going to try to reinstall it one more time. Uh, where was it? Downloads. And I don't want to bore you. I'm just going to go through the same step, steps one more time. The last time we had so much of trouble with the virus. Now we have everything visible. And it's just doing updating and copying files, extracting, and hopefully this time we'll have better time. So we have Windows. It may be a little bit of a challenge because of the because of the identifier program that you may be may be running in your system. Just be patient, take a look, and validate that you can run the command properly when it's all done. I'm gonna pause the video, and we'll be back in a second. All right, everyone, looks like the installation is now done. Let's try finish and let's see if there is anything that is showing up as made as plotable, at least not from here. So let me open up a CMD again MSF. Also, it's still not a valid program and let's see we may have to add the environment variable ourselves it's not in here at the bottom let's see I don't see it here. So we're going to add that path manually. Okay. One second. Hey everyone. So what it looks like when we install uh, the MSI is not properly adding the tag. Uh, it did create the Metasploit framework uh, 
uh, the folder that is under C so what I'll do next uh, just manually configure and just go to go to the environment variable and uh, let's just go to the system variable go to the path hit edit and then add a new one and what I'll do I'll add this whole path and the path is going to be down to this folder and to the bean folder that's where all of these executables are located so go there and new and add it and that should let us use our metasploit within the windows environment so at this time we just have to reopen a new command prompt and try msf console and it looks like this time i didn't get any error it's trying to load something and just give it a minute there we go and it's pulling up our metasploitable looking for some stuff giving us some warning so give it a second and let's see what happens all right it's loaded now it took probably two or three minutes for the first time to load this one so we ran the metas msf console command uh, some errors in here not errors some warnings but it picked up and now we are inside the msf6 that's the person we are using if you want to check the version uh, the other way you can open up another command window and we can also type msf console dash v should give us the version it takes a minute to check the version and load it uh, but there we go uh, it's again giving us the same warning uh, let's see if it gives us the version in a second uh, I think it just did and there we go 6.2.23 that's the person we have installed in this machine okay and over here this is a metasploitable version 6 that's the latest version and you can start using it now I'll have subsequent videos where I'll show you how to use this tool uh, for now just uh, play with it maybe run some uh, help and see what you can do with this particular tool and uh, just uh, wait for the next video to set up a workplace and then uh, look at some of these db connect some of the things are required for the msf uh, metasploit framework to work properly uh, let me check one last thing before we go so db status is something i always check and here we see that no database driver is actually installed uh, if you using this tool in a in a Kali Linux environment, you will see the Kali automatically will set up a Postgres database for the use and so that you can save all the data as you are doing your pen testing. Now we'll learn that in the next video maybe. So for now, what we have learned in this one, how to install the Metasploitable uh, Metasploit framework in Windows environment. And we have seen some issues and we have learned how to use the environmental variable uh, to fix the path problem if the path is not properly added by the MSI installer. Okay, so that's about it and have fun if you're using Windows and enjoy your Metasploitable framework. Thank you.